This is Yumi Did You Watch 2. I've been uh, following this product for a while and uh, finally I decided it was time to stop following and start uh, looking at it. So here one is. Some the normal sort of nice presentation boxes that you usually ship their stuff in. With their usual thanks for purchasing Humidity thing. And uh, some QR codes to follow them on various social media. Here's the watch itself. So it comes with a little charging lead, a couple little pins by the look of it. Uh, there's a strap here, or there's a strap it comes with, which is a, uh, uh, a sort of pretend fabric one, but I think it's actually probably made of metal or something. That's quite an interesting idea. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, so it's yes, it's a metal strap, so it's magnetic, infinitely adjustable. Now, where are we? This is the charging lead. It's obviously a USB lead, as these things normally are. And this one has got a little magnetic bit on the end here, which clamps down onto the back of the. Aha, okay, so it'll only go on the right way round, that's good. This goes this way. Yeah, so the magnet pulls it down into the right position to start with. Okay, and there's the user manual, and here's the watch, let's see. Okay, yes, so it does all sorts of things. Have a quick look at the manual, long press. So, um, I've got my new watch on at the moment, and this is the app that pairs with it. And if I click on that icon there, you can see the uh, information about the watch, the charge and everything. Uh, if the When you install the app, when you first go into the app, you click on this, and it, that takes you straight into the pairing page, and you then need to pair the watch up. So, to start the watch, you can swipe down on the screen like this. And then if you swipe across, you can see it's timed me doing some training today. I didn't ask it to do that. That's something that happened accidentally. Uh, that's the number of steps I've done today. I use a baby walker, so it doesn't count most of my steps, unfortunately. And there's the sleep information. Now, this is uh, restarted. It's restarted tonight because it's at 11 o'clock at the moment. Um, so it's not showing you the uh, sleep information from last night, which you can see here, which uh, shows that I had a very good sleep last night, just in case I was unaware of that. So, uh, so swiping sideways goes through those functions. And uh, if I swipe up, I get to the uh, training menu and uh, tap on that. And you can choose the method of training you want to do and time it. And then when you uh, say, for example, football, if I was playing football, I could start the timer and stop the timer. I can move back to the training menu. So this one will measure, of course, it's to measure heart rate, which it will take a few moments to do. Uh, oh, I need to click to tell it to measure, by the way, which I didn't do. So I click to make it measure, and you can see it's gone to a blank display and so on. We, we won't bother about that anymore. Let's just, uh, yeah, um, that's the O2 measurement. That's the uh, blood pressure measurement. Uh, I've used all of those. They all work quite nicely. And if you do one on here, it transfers the data to the app, which not all of these devices do. So that's quite good. Um, then up here, you've got messages, and you can actually scroll through the last three messages you got which is really quite useful because um, a lot of time uh, you 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 only get um, uh, you, you you only get the last message and it only displays for a few seconds whereas this one you can go and have a look at it whether you can set it up it's a moment it's uh, saying it needs to be connected to Bluetooth and try again earlier on today it was telling me the weather I, I normally look at my watch for the weather anyway that's for controlling the camera on your phone and that's for controlling the music player on your phone. And then finally, you've got a timer. That's actually a stopwatch. So you can start it, stop it, reset it, go back from the timer. Settings gives you various settings. You can set it to mute or not to be mute. I've set it not to be mute. Um, you can adjust the brightness if you want to. 
obviously if you if you have it set to full brightness it's um runs the battery down more quickly you can switch the styles you've got various styles that are available um, so you can have whichever one you want so really it is quite easy to use the key is to turn it on if it it tends to turn on when you turn your wrist like that but if it if it's not on and you want it on just swipe down like that and it turns on very easy so I'm uh, listening to some music on my phone and if I want to, I can pause, start, jump to the next track, jump back to the previous track, and back to the one before. So, if you want to, you can um, control your player. This might be quite handy if the phone's the other side of the room or something, and you want and you're listening to the player via. Um, the Alexa or whatever you can turn the player on and off with this um, personally I don't use that a great deal but 